bad pop here. And I'm afraid I got nothing but bad news <laughs> for your cheating Chesters and two time and Tonys out there. And you know who you are. We're going to be covering the Ashley Madison hack. And if you think for one hot second that I didn't get my hands in the database, <laughs> you'd be wrong. We're going to slice that girl open, edit that out, and dissect it from beginning to end. If your wedding tackle is on the chopping block, all I got to say is you're gambling with one half of AYS and you did it to yourself. With that being said, make sure you wrap your tools so you're no fool. <laughs> Let us begin. Yeah. On 12 July, the people from Avid Life came in and discovered there was a message stating that their system had been hacked. And in the background was playing Thunderstruck from ACDC. The impact team, the hackers, Release a statement stating that Avid Life has 30 days to shut down or their database will be revealed. Avid Life downplays the whole situation and obviously trying to do a PSYOP spin to make it not such a big deal. Not that I'm trained in PSYOPs or anything. Pussy! <laughs> Excuse me. July 22nd. Impact team reveals two names and full account information for two individuals who signed up for the Ashley Madison. Obviously, it's a shot across the bow that they're not f***ing around. Edit that out. <laughs> Winning new. No. True to their word. A month later, Impact Team <laughs> dumps the first load of data. Is this a shocker? What's, what's that I hear? Wait, wait a minute. Oh. That's the sound of millions of phones ringing and divorce lawyers being contacted. Oh, and the death of hope. <laughs> <laughs> August 19th. It is confirmed that the data that was dumped is the genuine article. And all those two time and Tonys out there, you can hear all their assholes slamming shut like a time lock at the bank. August 20th, first phase of divorce court kicks on and websites pop up allowing you to search by name and email address. And a second data dump occurs. <laughs> it's kind of fun to say data dump. It's like data dump. <laughs> August 21st, Impact Team reveals that not only did they take all that data, but they have 300 gigs of data to include the source code. And they stated that Ashley Madison had absolutely no security whatsoever. Basically, you were cleaning your gun, you didn't unload it, and you're looking right down the barrel. What do you think was going to happen? Boom! Headshot! August 23rd, Impact Team starts to release lists of sorted data. And guess what? There's 20,000 dot mil accounts. You guys are stupid. 80,000 dot edu accounts. Go frat boys. And 150,000 Utah accounts. Multiple wives not enough for you? What is it with you people out there in Utah? I've run into a lot of women from Utah. And a lot of them look like they had an argument with a tat gun or fell down the stairs while carrying a big load of fishing tackle. You ain't getting this peg D, I'm just saying. August 24th, Canada releases the names of people who committed suicide. You're really throwing yourselves into oblivion over some slot C? Or, or wait a minute, you were searching for more peg D, weren't you? First we bash on Utah, <laughs> and then we bash on Canada. But hey, that's what you get when you leave your front door unlocked. Winning, eh? Oh. <laughs> right after they release the names of the first attributed suicides, Avid Life puts out a $500,000 bounty. You know you really piss people off and you're like, I'm gonna pay a half a million dollars for your ass. Oh, yeah. August 25th to today, there have been more assorted data dumps of the 300 gigs that they claim to have, but of course, <laughs> They're bluffing, right? You Ashley Madison ass bags out there. You played a game of poker. <laughs> you have a terrible poker face and you lost. You might have a bad poker face, but it's obvious from signing up you wanted to poker face, if you know what I mean. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh! Oh! There's been a lot of fallout over this, and that database is very extensive. You lose. But for those people out there, who have their credit card information and verified email addresses, you pretty much got no excuse. And while you're at it, you might want to check your bank statements and also make sure that your old lady can't. You want my password? <laughs> Bitch, no. They basically say, it looks like an inside job. Okay, <laughs> maybe you didn't have security and you got hacked legitimately. Admit nothing, deny everything, and then scramble like cockroaches when you turn on the light of truth. I'm not really too tech savvy. So if you throw a bunch of source code in front of me, I won't know what the hell it is. But when it was analyzed by professionals, and this is my favorite part, <laughs> you idiots, 
three out of 10,000 of these female accounts were actually real. The rest were robots. <laughs> so it was the ultimate game of three shell Monty and you got taken to the cleaners. Is that blunt enough? People paid $19 to get deleted from this database. And then you find out after everyone's hacked that, hey, you paid the money and they didn't delete your shit. So now your name is floating in the ether and it's your fault. That particular one is going to get you sued into the stone age and it's going to cost you a lot of dead presidents, if you know what I mean. Or prime ministers because you're from Canada. Winning, eh? Oh. The American and the British intel agencies are scrubbing that list stem to stern to make sure none of their people can be possibly blackmailed. Why would you foolish mortals use your dot mil accounts, you flipping idiots? A 590 some odd million dollar lawsuit was filed against Advil Life. Plus, there'll probably be many more to follow. So, if I was a bet man, I'd sell your stock in that company today because they're going bye bye. If you think you're going to get any money out of them, you got another thing coming. They're going to do a bankruptcy and they're going to walk free and clear. I hope they throw that f***er in jail. Yeah. What an asshole. So I was reading another article in one of those rich prick magazines. One sixth to one fourth of all married men here in the United States were on this site. So divorce lawyers, <laughs> be prepared for a great payday. They're going to get a new boat, a second house, pay for their kids college. And why is that? Gonorrhea! No. <laughs> you shouldn't have gotten married in the first place. Firings, suicides, and resignations are going off the charts. You lost your job, all your money, because why? You talk to a porn robot, basically. If this is what you want, why get married? Because guess what? When you get to about, well, you know, my age or a little older, you can jump on our time, and that thing is packed full of women who are OPP, old, poor, and powerless. You can hit it, quit it, park stop it, neutral slam it. You can leave that shit on the lot two to three times a week, and who cares? At the end of the day, you still get to keep all of your own shit. I'm rich, bitch! <laughs> Avid Life put out a statement stating, despite the hack, Business is booming. In fact, up to 100,000 women have signed up for the site. 10 yards, illegal procedure, bullshit and lying. And guess what? You're gonna get sued. <laughs> and they're gonna bend you over <laughs> and put it in your end zone. Winning, eh? Oh. Avid Life ran five total websites, very similar to Ashley Madison. Some of them were pretty dirty. So if you're a download Dan, be prepared to be turned upside down and get the peg D to slot B. It will hurt and you'll probably bleed. Not only was the source code released, the database of all the clients released, but they hacked the CEO's email and those emails paint a picture that Ashley Madison actually hacked websites of their competition. So they're in fact guilty of what happened to them. That's pretty much the Ashley Madison hack to date. What a bunch of bullshit. If it's too good to be true, it probably is. <laughs> You porn robot talkers, you three shell Monty fools, you deserve what you get. <laughs> You're idiots and it is hilarious. I don't have any sympathy whatsoever. And you impact team guys, I like your style. Hey, oh. Before you lose half of all your shit and you still have some money, why don't you check out our Patreon page and our PayPal links and send a little our way so we can continue to do this. Because guess what? Some of you dudes out there, you're stupid. And you need to have somebody tell you how it is. Oh! While you're at it, hit the subscribe button. Because if you don't, I'm gonna take a huge, steaming, oily, dripping data dump <laughs> right on your chest. <laughs> Winning! People, people. paid to be people deleted. Let me write this. <laughs> Pee hole people! Pee hole sounds like something else altogether. I'm just saying. Alright, obviously I'm having a dyslexic moment here. I underlined it. Dyslexia moment. You should know the drill so you can kiss my ass. You're a peep hole. Stab him in his face! Somebody's gotta say this, because you're not gonna get the news agencies to go into detail and call them a bunch of idiots and whatever. I mean They are idiots. In today's day and age, if you are stupid enough to say the five words I love you and then I do. And then you don't do this, you deserve what you get, man. I don't know what to tell you.